Hi, I'm here with Warwick Head football coach Corey Harrison after his Raiders win a preseason scrimmage at Cox High School in Virginia Beach by a count of 41-7. to Coach, coming off a region championship last year for the first time at Warwick in a long time. I think you've been building this program where you all expect to be and hope to be a really good team. Now it's going from we can be really good to now we know we can be really good. And tonight I think this showed uh, you're building in the right direction, continuing it here as you move up to Class 5 this year. Well, you know, again, it, 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 it all comes down to hard work. we got to keep working hard. We can't rest on what we did last season. It was a great season, but that season's in the past. We got to move on, um, and we we this is a different season. Even though we we do have a lot of stars returning, um, it's still not the same team. So, you know, with new team comes different challenges. So we just got to keep working, and we can't rest on what happened last season. One of the players that pops every time you take the field is Messiah Delome. He was the region defensive player of the year. He makes plays for you offensively. He had a pick tonight, a uh, nice jet sweep run. Uh, just speak on what he brings your ball club on the field, off the field, and I know he's the total package as a prospect as well. Yeah, he he, he, he is he is a total package. Um, he can do it on both sides of the ball and on special teams. Um, but, you know, we also have a lot of a lot of kids that can do great things as well. So we can't just we, – we, we don't rest on only Messiah. Looks like you've got a nice mixture of run and pass. Tell me about just the pieces you have at those spots, the backs, the, the quarterbacks. Uh, I know Eduardo Rios is back for you at the Triggerman spot. And then even you, you got a tall receiver, you have a mixture of wideouts. So it feels like you've got versatility and balance on the offensive side of the ball to score points and move the ball. Right. Uh, but, but it all actually starts up front. Um, our guys up front, they've been working hard. We've been working them hard. And you, you, you can't complete a pass. You can't make a run if you don't have those big guys up front working and uh, – getting after it. So I, I, my hat's off to the offensive line. Um, we've had some challenges, some people go down, um, you know, but, you know, one thing I can say, they, 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 showed, they showed me today they can get it done. Well, you know, we always write about the ones that get their names in the paper, hear their names on TV, radio, internet, and read about it on the Twitter, the blogs, the skill guys. But tell us about some of those linemen, because Cox has a big time recruiting Gerard Johnson going to Virginia Tech defensive right. linemen. But shout out some of those offensive and defensive linemen, because not only did you block well, you collapsed the pocket too. Yeah, um, uh, Adonis Watson, he, he was a kid that was uh, uh, district, uh, region, and state honors. He's returning at guard. We have another senior on the line, uh, Ryland uh, Woodard. Um, he, he's played for us for, uh, for five years, so he's really coming to his own on the offensive line. So those guys are out there communicating. They know the offense. And, again, the younger guys in tune of what we, what we need up front. And then defensively, I heard the name Skip with. I heard his name a lot tonight. I think he made some plays for you. Is that correct? Or was I hearing Yeah, he, he made a couple plays Dwayne for Skip us. With? Is De it? Dewan Skip with. Dwayne he, Skip with. He made okay. some plays for us. He and uh, Chris Corbin uh, up, up from the D-line, they're, they're making plays. Um, you know, they were freshmen last year. So they, they're coming in with the experience, and we, mm -hmm. they, they, again, they got to keep working. They're not yet there yet. A couple more for let you run. Uh, certainly, film will allow you and your coaches to have to evaluate more of the pluses, the minuses. But what's your initial takeaway here, as far as what you're like, and got to clean up and the progress from scrimmage one to now as you get ready for game one with Grassville coming up? Right. Uh, there, you know, there were three things I told the kids uh, before we came into the scrimmage. They were able to check two of the boxes. Uh, that third box, you know, we'll, we'll get after it in practice this upcoming week. Sure. And for Warwick to have another special run in December, we know you're in a gauntlet of a region. You guys move yeah. into 5B where Maury has been in the state championship last two years. You've got Kings Forks, a very good team, Nansman River. Uh, Class 5 has always got a lot of teams even beyond just your region. G give me your thoughts and just the goals where I think these kids now, that winning culture is there. It's been instilled by you all. Right. But no matter what the culture is, no matter what, it's always going to be one game at a time. Yeah. Well, we always love hearing move the chains over at Warwick High School in uh, <laughs> Todd right. Stadium, Darling Stadium. All the best. We'll see you soon. All right. Thank you.